to raise your elected rates for the second time in two years. Tonight, more than 100 people showed up to a hearing to let INM know they've had enough. Fox 55's Cody Butler is live with more. Cody. Hunter, most of the people at the hearing tonight spoke against INM's proposal, saying INM already makes too much money as it is, and they have enough to cover the rate of their proposed upgrades. You want to help the low income pay their bills, stop jacking it up. Indiana Michigan Power wants to raise an extra $172 million to help cover the cost of improvements such as new smart meters. Many people at tonight's Indiana Office of Utility Consumer Counselor hearing says that's too much to pay. I track my electric usage and even I don't want it down to the hour. I mean, it's unnecessary. It's a nice idea. No one can tell me that they're doing a good job with controlling their costs. Fort Wayne Community Schools is among those who say the cost is too high. INM's plan would raise its profits by an extra 11% in two years, but that would also cost the district an extra $400,000. District Energy Coordinator James Cotter Jr. says lawmakers want that money to go toward teachers and other school needs. Or approximately the equivalent of 10 full-time teacher salaries. That $400,000 approaches 25% of the operations fund increase that we just received from the state. Cotter says the FWCS has cut its energy usage by more than 23% in the last seven years. Now, this is not the first time i &M went before regulators recently. Similar hearings were held two years ago for other infrastructure improvements, some of which were approved. At the heart of everything we do is our customers. Um, no one likes a rate increase. We understand that. And we would not be proposing anything that we didn't think was absolutely necessary. But folks like Jim Klein say the increases need to stop. We can't afford it. My wife is disabled. She can't even afford her medicine. You couldn't make it out to tonight's hearing. You could still submit your comments and writing. We have ways you can do that on our website, WFFT.com. Reporting live, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News. The Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission is expected to make a decision on the rate increase in March.